In this lesson, we're going to focus on writing linear equations from stories. So you're going to get a story problem, and you're going to be asked to write an equation to represent that. So linear equations, a linear equation is just something that will end up being a straight line. It can be written in this form. Um, dependent variable equals rate times independent variable plus start value. And we use a letter number or symbol to represent each part of the equation. We typically use x to represent the independent variable and y to represent the dependent variable. You may remember those terms a little bit from sixth grade. So let's look at a couple problems and see how this works. So here's the first example. The price of a CD is $13.98. Write a rule or algebra equation to calculate the cost for any number of CDs bought. So the first thing that you always need to do is figure out what your two variables are and how they're going to end up being relating to each other, which one's dependent, which one's independent. So it looks like we are trying to figure out cost compared to the number of CDs bought. So you need to ask yourself, which one depends on the other? Does the cost depend on how many CDs you buy? Yes, it does. So that means that the cost is the dependent variable. So we're going to call that Y. The number of CDs is the independent variable, so we're going to call that X. And then we need to think about how it's going to be compared. And we can use um, just logic, think about what is going on here, or you can break it down to the original rule if you aren't sure. So I know that I want my dependent variable to equal something, and if I look back, it says the dependent variable is always the rate times the independent variable plus the start value. Well, the rate here, it costs $13.98 per CD. So it's going to be um, $13.98 times the number of CDs, which we're calling X. There is no start value in this case, or there, the start value is zero. If you don't buy any CDs, you don't pay any money. So I don't need to add a zero at the end, and my final equation is y equals 13.98x. Okay, let's look at a second example. So this one, to rent a moving truck, it costs $100. Each mile you drive the truck is an extra $175. You're trying to write a rule or an algebraic equation to calculate the cost for running the truck and driving any number of miles. So again, the first thing that you need to figure out here is what are your variables? What are you, what's being compared here? Looks like you're trying to figure out the cost for renting the truck and then like how many miles you end up driving. That's going to be impacting it. So again, the cost depends on how many miles you drive. So the number of miles driven, that's going to be x. That's the independent variable. The cost, that depends on how many miles you drive, so that's going to be y. And then we need to come up with um, a comparison again. So I'm going to start out with y equals, and how does y depend on x? Well, every time you drive a mile, it costs $1.75, so that's your rate, $1.75 per mile. So it's $1.75 times the number of miles. However, you have to pay that $100 upfront fee. So we're going to add $100 to that price. $1.75 times the number of miles, plus you also have to pay the $100. Now, this is a wonderful equation. It is fine if you think about it in this form. You have to pay your $100 upfront fee, plus you have to pay $175 per mile. Because addition is commutative, this is an equation that works just as well. All right, as we get into the graphing calculator, which is coming next, you're going to have to be an expert at writing proper equations so that the graphing calculator can do a lot of the work for you.